Hello, this is Nick Cap, and I was here real quick to show you how to use the NanoDrop, uh, NanoDrop by uh, Thermo Scientific. First, we need to kind of open up our computer, and we have the program uh, set on our computer. Uh, it's pretty easy. Control Alt Delete, and the password is written right on it is S K Y S M T and that will take us into the home document and then if we see on this page here we have the nano drop if we just click on nano drop that will get us into the program uh, I think we're just gonna run it try it again Um, the nano drops a little bit slow. This is a beautiful piece of equipment to nano drop here. It opens up and it closes down. And this is the pedestal right here. And that's where we'll put our drop of materials on there. I'm just kind of waiting it to go. And so we have a micropipette that's set to about two microliters. And we're going to use the micropipette out to pipette out one to two microliters on top of this pedestal over here. I have today for us for our experiments, uh, uh, some water, and uh, that's our, um, uh, the water would be our um, blank, and the sample of uh, DNA that we have. And we will put those on in a second. Uh, it takes a little bit for the machine to warm up, and uh, you may need to make sure that it's all plugged in. Once we get it plugged in, we're going to look on this area here, and that says nucleic acid, the top left-hand side. If you click on nucleic acid, um, uh, I have already set up a uh, form for us to fill out that I filled out a number of couple of things on here. And then uh, what you want to do is just kind of set up the wavelengths, and it's performing the uh, routine wavelength check. Ideally, you want to have a little bit of liquid in there. The first thing that we want to do is blank our uh, piece of equipment. And so what I'm going to do is grab a pipette. I'm going to go in and grab out two microliters. Sorry about the bouncingness. And then I'm going to put the two microliters on the very end of the pedestal. If I close the pedestal, uh, again, you need to look and make sure that there is a connection with that. I can see if we can look on the connection. So if you look on there, you should be able to see the connection that's in there. All right. So once we set up that connection, and we know that that connection is good, we can go over here. And then what we're going to want to do is to click on the blank icon. We click on the blank icon. It will measure the blank. It's uh, measuring for a little bit. And saying, please wait. So it's measuring the blank. Load your sample and press the measure button. OK, so what we do is, uh, so it's blanked. So if we want to use this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call this blank. B-L-A-N-K, blank. And I'm going to hit the measure. And if we do the measure, that will kind of see what our blank is. And our blank, we should get a number value of 0. And in this case here, we got a value of, of 0.4 nanograms, which is uh, uh, pretty much almost 0. Uh, this will be measuring our A260, our A280, and then a 260 over 280 ratio, 260 over 230 ratio, which kind of gives you some information. But I will leave that for you. Now, when we test our sample, what we want to do is get a Kim wipe or something else and wipe off the um, pedestal. Uh, we are then going to get our sample. Uh, here is the DNA. I'm going to take my sample and try not to hit. So I got two microliters in there. And then we are going to load the sample onto the pedestal. Slowly move the pedestal on there. Check it out. And then uh, what I'm going to do is call this uh, Lambda DNA. 
Uh, and again, if we look on here, it's this, this DNA gives a uh, measurement, and it will automatically determine the concentration in nanograms per microliter. Okay. Uh, we hit the measure icon, and then again, it all gets put down in a table that we could look at in there. We have this nice kind of curve in here in the DNA, and we're looking at 505 nanograms per microliter. And that's roughly about 0.1 microgram per, per microliter, which is uh, pretty good. All right, I will leave this uh, to you. When you're done with this, all you need to do is, sorry about that, wipe off your set, and you're ready to go. I will demonstrate this in class, and you will have this video as a recording. Thank you.